So in your laboratory one handout, you have this link to the web page. So if you click it, uh, you will go to the home web page of VREP. VREP has a section of downloads and the only thing that you have to be careful about in here is that you have to download the education version for VREP. So it's this one and I'll download it the Windows version. Okay, so I already downloaded one so we wouldn't lose time. The setup process is fairly easy. It just like, extracts the files and then asks you to agree to the license and then it just copies all the files to your program folder and that will be all. So, well, I have already an installation of VREP running in here so I'm going to close it. Okay, so this is the installation <coughs> environment. Um, you just click next, basically, and wait until it copies all the files. Okay, so once our installation is finished, we have the VR, his, here's the VREP environment and to open one of the example scenes we go to file open scene and then in the VREP folder let me go back a little bit we have two fo folders that interest us one would be the scenes ones and one would be the tutorials one in the tutorials um, these ones actually come with a guide so you can follow it um, in many you actually assemble a robot that you later use in others you just program the robot so it's worth to look at it okay so um, the other folder that it's important to us is the scenes folders if we go to this folder there's many 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 examples that are already well built and you can just hit play so for example Let's open the motion planning demo. Okay, so um, for playing a simulation, you just have to hit this button, play. Okay, so this demo in particular, what it does is that it calculates the best motion path from this tip up until this point that you see right here, this one and this one. Okay, so at any point in the simulation, you can actually stop, hit pause, and check uh, where all the elements are, the positions. So in here, for example, I can check out the position of the box, the position of the robot. If I go here and explore, I can check the position of the tip of the robot. Here it is. This is the rotation that it has and this is the position that it has so you can hit pause at any time and check out the state of any of the elements that are in the simulation environment okay so I'll just hit playback and if I at any point uh, the simulation finished or I'm done with the simulation I just hit stop and that will be all it just goes back to its initial position.